All right. So I'm here with Miss Maggie. Hi, Miss Maggie. Hi. Hi. Um. So, uh, tell me what the heck happened to you exactly at Sem Shemansky Park? Because I was so pissed off because I watched him shove you like twice, and that was enough for me to go. Uh, it, it, that was enough for me to make me want to go off on that cop, or at least dress him down and explain to him that you know shoving women, women, women around is not a good idea. Not so, a good idea. So what did he do? All right, so I'm standing on the front line, and they start pushing people back with the sides of their batons, pushing them back, pushing them back, and you know, yelling, "Move, move, move!" And you're yelling at the at the cop without the name tag, the one that's standing right in front of us, and he's he's just moving forward, and you can see that he's really upset. His his mask's all fogged up, and he's looking at the ground, and he won't even look any of us in the eyes. And he's shoving, and he's shoving, and he's shoving, and he's <laughs> saying, "I don't know your name. Why are you allowed to hit me? Why are you hitting me? But I don't know your name. You know my name." And they, they all turn their batons like this. Or sideways? So they, yeah, they turn them so that the, the, the you know... Blood end. The blood Jab end is jabbing. facing. And they start jabbing like this. No going jabbing. straight, you know, going straight for my stomach, straight for my chest. And uh, the big, big, huge guy next to the one without the name tag. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, we get to the edge <clears throat> where that ledge is. And I'm saying, hold on just a second. People are being trampled. People are being trampled. Stop trampling people. You have to give us a second to get over the ledge. This is the outside of the park. And he looks down and he kicks my ankle. And I've still got so a mark on my ankle for that. And I was limping for four days. Or... And then he takes, he takes his baton and he takes the end of it. And he, he, you know, he deliberately, it was quite clear, he was holding it up here. He wasn't holding it down here like he's supposed to. He was holding it up here. And he goes like that, and he jams it into my face, and I had a bruise on my face. Oh, jeez. And this was about, what, two weeks ago now? Yeah. The, it was, the... Best guess was about two weeks ago. So. Yeah, about two weeks ago. Right on. So if you had anything to say to that cop, or, yeah. or cops, what yeah. would it be? I told my, my son to put a bullet in me if I did that. You gotta stop dehumanizing me. Because you look at me and I'm an occupier, and that's all I am. And you know, I'm a terrorist in their eyes. And their job is simply to come out and to remove us. But I'm a human being. I have a family. I have friends. I have things. You know, I am a human being, and I have feelings. And it hurts when you hit me. And it hurts when the people who I was taught my entire life are supposed to be there to protect me and to keep me safe are getting in my face and deliberately hurting me. You have to see people as human beings, not as objects to be removed.